What is going on everyone, my name is Codemore and welcome back to Web Development Episode 12. In this episode, we are finally going to begin learning how to style our website. Now, styling is basically making our website look really good, adding colors to things, making sure things can be positioned on our web page in the proper position, making things be the proper size, all of that really cool stuff, and trust me, we can do so much more with CSS than you'll ever imagine. So let's get started. Now, styling a web page is done in another language called CSS, like I just mentioned. And CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet, and basically, it is a language that describes how an HTML document, how our website should look. And CSS is very, very simple. You'll get the hang of it in no time. Basically, it's written in selector, colon, descriptor, semicolon. Now, this probably looks pretty confusing, but it's actually really simple. Selector is basically what to change, and descriptor is basically what to change it to. So, the value of what you want to change, and then a semicolon just ends everything. So what I mean by this is we can do something like, if we want to change the text color of something, in CSS we can do color, because we want to change the text color, so this is what we want to change, color, after the colon is what we want to change it to, so maybe we want to change it to the color red. It's as simple as that. And there are so many selectors in CSS, we're going to be learning about a ton of them, and again there's much more you can do with CSS here. Another one would be background dash color. So we want to change the background color. What do we want to change it to? I don't know, maybe uh, purple, like that. That is CSS. Like I said, you'll get the hang of this in no time. Don't worry too much about it right now. Now there are many, many, many ways we can put CSS into our HTML document, and we are going to learn all of those ways. But for right now, we are just going to learn the simplest way to implement styling into our website just to see how CSS works. Create any tag you want, almost any tag you want, because CSS can be applied to pretty much any HTML tag for the most part. I'm just going to create a div here, and I'm just going to write uh, hello YouTube like that. Very simple, just one line of text, and whoops, I did not mean to do that at all. And if we just take a look here, if I save this, and finally get it saved properly, and reload our web page, we get hello YouTube. Nothing special. Now, how we add CSS, again, the most basic way we're going to learn multiple ways of doing this, is by the style attribute. And within these quotations of the style attribute is where you specify your selectors and descriptors for CSS. So if I want to change the text color of Hello YouTube to red, then we just say, well, we want to change the color of text, colon. What do we want to change it to? Red. And then a semicolon. Like that, if we save it and reload our web page, Look at that, our text is now red. It was as simple as that. CSS, like I said, is really simple. We can even add more things to the style. So instead of just color red, after the semicolon, we can do something like background dash color, and we can set that to purple or something. And if we reload our web page, we should hopefully see that the div is now background in purple. Of course, red text on purple doesn't look too good, but as you can see, the entire div spanning from the left to right side of our web page is the color purple. The background color of the div is purple, and any text inside of the div is red. That is CSS. This right here is CSS code. You just learned how to code in CSS for the most part, but there's still quite a bit we need to learn because CSS is so much more powerful than just this. So in the next tutorial, we're going to learn about a few more CSS selectors other than color and background color, and then in a few tutorials from now we are going to learn how to actually write CSS up here in the header, and then eventually put CSS in its own file to be much more useful to us. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video.